Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical, and I just want to talk to you about the four rules of firearm safety. And I know what you're saying. Man, I know these. However, it seems to be when I run my classes, I ask my students before we even start, hey, what's the four rules of firearm safety? And typically it's crickets and you're trying to pull the information out of there. Again, this is something we want to apply every single day, especially when we're handling our firearms. So number one, treat all weapons as if they were loaded. Okay, I agree. However, I like to add this, know the status of your firearm. So yes, I can treat my firearm as, as if it were loaded, but if I'm sitting there, I pull it out and I actually haven't checked it to see if there's a round in the chamber, then really that's doing me no good. Easy way to do that is I just secure my firearm. I can have it go out in a safe direction. I lock my slide to the rear. Now I can visually inspect inside the chamber and I can check the magazine well. Now an easy way to, to do this is if I do wind up loading my firearm, I want to conduct my Warhog check, which really by placing my finger on the side of the slide, I have a little bit of tension. I kind of come back here to the rear of the slide, little, climp, little clamp motion, and then just a little pull back, and then I can see that I've actually got that round in the chamber. So in this case, yes, I'm treating my fire, firearm as if it were loaded. I've got it pointed in a safe direction, but now I know the status, which is an important factor on there. So again, I've just checked my pistol. Yep, I know it's clear. So we've got treat all weapons as if they were loaded, understand, know the status of the firearms. Second thing is we wanna keep our finger off the trigger until we have an acceptable sight picture. So for me, again, that finger is riding along the side of the frame. So now as I present out, I've got my sights on target. Now I can get my finger on the trigger, align my sights and press and fire my shot. Again, the key thing to remember is once I've fired that shot, before that gun comes back, you're gonna notice the finger's gonna to go to that positive tactile point in the slide, and now I'm drawing my pistol back. So I'm looking at three. I wanna never let the muzzle of your weapon cover anything you're not willing to destroy. So again, if I had to make a reverse or turn around behind me, I can easily take the muzzle from this safe direction. Now I can point it down and make my pivot if I had to. And again, I haven't flagged anybody, so I'm ensuring that I'm, I'm not letting the muzzle cover anything I'm not willing to destroy. And then last but not least is I want to identify my target, what's in line with it, and what's behind it. Never shoot anything I haven't positively identified. So when we're out on the range, I got it. It's easy. We've got this big burn back there. We know this paper target is our target. We know our bullets are hitting there. But to me, that's not reality, right? If I wanted to, could I not put a no shoot behind it or some other target? So now that's really training me when I'm out there shooting to identify that target and really look beyond. So even when we're out in the flat range, kind of open your eyes, expand that view because God forbid you're ever in a deadly force encounter out there in the real world, we want to take all these things into account. So remember, treat all firearms as if they were loaded, know the status of your firearm, keep your finger off the trigger so you have an acceptable sight picture, never let the muzzle of your weapon cover anything you're not willing to destroy, and again, identify your target, what's in line with it, what's behind it, never shoot anything you haven't positively identified. Use these four rules of firearm safety whenever you're carrying your firearm and throughout your daily travels.